getting pretty close to the point where I've got all the parts I need to get this to get my Kohler 6.5 kilowatt marine genset running. The Onan Aqualift muffler. Uh, I decided to paint it. It's getting a little bit ugly. Uh, so it's ready to go. We've got the raw water pump. Decided I might as well paint that too. Uh, stant thermostat, a couple of 5 8 inch 90 degree L's uh, hose barbs for the raw water circuit. We've got the um, throttle linkage, new throttle linkage, the quick release tie rod. Uh, another one is in the mail, so I should have that within three or four days. And then we've got the heat exchanger mount that's ready to be installed. And finally, the water pump mount. So all that's left that I need is some exhaust hose and that tie rod end, and it'll be ready to go. So this is the Kohler 6.5 kilowatt marine gen set. As you can see, I put some uh, paint on the engine, places where it was getting a little thin. <clears throat> I'm not going to repaint the whole thing because, uh, uh, well, it would take a lot of effort, and I'm not going to have this boat much longer, and whoever buys the boat is going to get it at a real good price, uh, so they can, they can do that preventive maintenance. The muffler, the water lift muffler, is uh, just kind of thrown in place there. <clears throat> Need to position it a little bit better. This was a uh, an open circuit, freshwater cooled engine, which means river or ocean water would come up, go through a pump that pushed it into the engine. Uh, the engine circulator pump wasn't moving any um, coolant, uh, like antifreeze. It was just uh, whatever water was, whatever water the boat was sitting in, that's what cools this engine. <clears throat> I decided to convert this to an antifreeze cooling system. And so you can see the heat exchanger, hopefully, there. That's way oversized for this application, but I just happened to have one, and so decided to use it. Uh, <clears throat> so, the when I got the boat, it did not have a carburetor. I believe this is supposed to have an updraft carburetor. Uh, I didn't have any luck finding one of those, but I did find a used side draft carburetor off of a, a Kohler, <clears throat> also a 6.5. Uh, but it had the uh, Kohler L, uh, what is it, L654 engine, and this engine is the L600, just a four-cylinder flathead. Okay, so the <coughs> Kohler light plant install continues. I've got the the uh, Onan water lift muffler installed in its original position and it connects to the hose that dumps the cooling water, the raw water, and exhaust off the boat. Uh, so next I need to position the heat exchanger. And it, I, I thought it was going to be center line, but it turns out that water lift muff muffler is uh, far enough uh, in front of the engine that I'll have to, to locate the heat exchanger a, a bit to the right. Okay, so we're making good progress here. The muffler's installed. 
the heat exchanger is installed. That went in very nicely. Let's see, I'm not sure which way it will flow, but coolant will come in this hose. Uh, drops inside the heat exchanger and then comes up the other side and then flows down back into the engine again. Got the uh, replacement uh, water circulator or coolant circulator pump pulley installed. Um, I found that new old stock. That was another part that did not come with with the boat. It's very difficult to find that. Uh, but uh, anyway, so it's coming along. This is the original thermostat. And as you can see, uh, it uh, is past its expiration date. I found a stant thermostat, new one, that's close to the right size. I'll have to knock off a little bit of the edge here, uh, but then it doesn't fit in the hole. It's very close. Uh, it just it doesn't fit. And so what I did is I took my Makita die grinder, and the reason it doesn't fit is because these little arms here that hold the whole thing together, uh, they stick out too far. And they can't be relocated, and I can't bend them to make them fit. So what I had to do, uh, you can see, it, it just doesn't seat, right? So I took my die grinder and took out a little bit of uh, material here and here, And so, while it doesn't fit that way, now it seats perfectly when it's oriented in the right direction. Um, now, I don't have my grinding wheel here at the boat, so I'll have to take this um, and just remove maybe an eighth of an inch of material here so that uh, we'll have more gasket surface. There's just not much gasket material there and there. So, uh, and it doesn't need that much, it doesn't need a, a, an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch to seat. Uh, and so removing that excess material will permit this to fit. There'll be plenty of gasket and I'll be able to uh, put antifreeze in this thing which should be very cool. What we have here is an original thermostat from the Kohler that is in awful shape, cannot be fixed. And that comes in the diameter of one inch, 1.790, or somewhere thereabouts. And after working the replacement Stamped 45848. Where are we at? Oops. Uh, about ten thousandths bigger. Or smaller, ten thousandths bigger, twelve thousandths bigger. It's actually darn near close enough. Might knock just a little bit more off. <clears throat>
Okay. I think that'll do.